Our own Marty sure takes us to some of the most unique places, and we meet some of the most amazing people in his Where's Marty segment. Today is no different. Marty, this man, I would say he's a cut above the rest, wouldn't you? Lynn just said you're a cut above the rest. Yeah, I have the edge on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a million of them. Lynn, Sean, don't get him started. He's got a million of them. Yeah. Oh, anyway, oh, <laughs> I'm here sharpening knives. I've been doing this for 47 years. My grandfather started back when he came from Austria in 1904, and it just went through the generations. My mother's brothers were known as Vidi, V-I-D-I. -I. They were the Vidi brothers. Eventually, they passed on, and I picked up the, the sharpening. You're a third-generation grinder. Third generation. You grew up in Little Italy. Yes. Went to St. Leo's grade school. Yes, I went there with Steve Jeppe, a very good friend of mine. A very good friend of mine. And this was just, it's its an art that has been passed down and passed down, family member to family member. Yes. And after me, I don't know who's going to be there doing it because my sons don't want to do it. I have cousins that maybe might dabble into it, but right now, I don't know what, what their future is. That is a 700 pound grinding wheel. Yes. Now, you you know, they were talking earlier about the sparks. Tell, tell Sean and Lynn, some metal makes sparks, some does not. It's carbon steel will throw sparks. Show them. Show them to show them real quick. It's going to get loud. All right. Where stainless steel doesn't throw sparks. It's something in the metal, an alloy, that I don't know what the composition is. All I know that it doesn't throw sparks. You know, when we were talking earlier, I think it's fascinating. I never knew that restaurants would exchange out their knives. Well, they're so busy in the kitchen, they really don't have time to sharpen their own knives. But now there's a few chefs that are coming in the culinary arts that have their own knives. But then again, when they get dull, they'll give me one or two of theirs, and I'll bring it back the following week. Now, there's a, there's a back story here that I'm going to leave you with, because every time you turn a corner, COVID raises its ugly head. Restaurants had problems during COVID. That meant that Frank had problems during your, your business gone. At least 80 percent. Customers, some um, restaurants closed or skip me this week, and I go back the following week and skip me again. I'm not using the knives as often as I, sh I would like. I'm just sorry you know, that I have to let you uh, let you slide till we get back on our feet. But the business is coming back, and plus the you know, garden equipment, uh, residential referrals. But just when you think you you put COVID behind you, all of a sudden a success story like this comes and lets you know that and that was some you 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 you, you can't make that action up. And at least there's some happy endings. Yes, there is, especially now that the stop raining, grass is growing. People need the lawnmower blade sharpened. Just take the blade off, put the bolt back in the hole so you don't lose it. Bring the blade in, I'll sharpen it and balance it while you wait. Yeah, we'll give you Frank's information. Coming up next half hour, he's going to give you some tips at home because your knife set has one of these, and that's called a butcher steel. A butcher steel. How many people actually know how to sharpen your knives at home? I'm telling you, we got a big cooking weekend coming up next weekend, Passover and Easter. Frank's going to... I'll give you a demonstration on how to use a butcher steel. There you go. Sharpest guy in town. Back to you, too. I need that demonstration, Marty. Thank you. I have one of those, and I don't think I've ever used it. I don't think anybody knows exactly how to use it unless you're yeah. a professional. What I really like about this, you might not know this is even a service, because your knives get dull, and then for the next year, two, three, four years, you just suffer through mm -hmm. sawing through bread or tomato, whatever it may be. <laughs> you don't have to suffer. You can just get them sharpened. You don't need a new he knife. Help. He can help. He you. can help you, and he's right here in Maryland. Well, so the common.